are some of the symptoms of rhabdo? How do you know if you have rhabdo? So first, muscle soreness, right? You're going to have yeah. persistent pain most likely. So it'll be a little different than DOMS, right? So for those of you who work out, you know that after you've You've put yourself through some stress there. You've worked out. You might have some delayed onset of muscle soreness, which could come on, right? Between yep. 24, 72 hours, depending on, you know. Yeah, it should be gone there. by 72. Yeah. should be gone by 72. Versus with rhabdo, that's just going to be persistent pain that remains, and it's not going away. It's right. just getting worse. Some people will even describe such bad soreness that they can't uh, – extend their arms yep. or their legs fully it, easy it's, tasks just become very difficult to it's do. very severe like going down the stairs exactly. is like not possible yeah. <laughs> like yep. gravity standing up against gravity hurts <laughs> yeah a lot and then there's some symptoms that are more notable like the most notable is probably your urine changes yep. color to a, almost like a rusty brown or dark coca-cola color yep. and you know, going back to that's that myoglobin that your kidneys are trying, trying to filter to release, out, yeah. right? So that's your kidneys have increased demand on them because they're trying to filter out these proteins in the myoglobin, which is why acute kidney failure can happen. That's a that's a super common one. And then like fatigue, nausea, yeah. uh, confusion can happen in severe states because you know sure. if you're depleted from uh, you know water and you're Electrolytes, dehydrated yeah. and heat stroke and things like that. So those are some major symptoms. And then if that happens, stop exercising. 